Now, good nutrition is fundamental to health. And in fact, many, many years ago, the wonderful ancient Greek physician Hippocrates coined the, the phrase, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And, you know, he was an incredible character, really, because amongst, you know, the many people at that time who still believed that illness was... Um, it was like the wrath of the gods. It was a superstitious belief that you became unwell if you'd done something wrong. Um, whereas Hippocrates was saying, well, no, actually there is a natural underlying cause to illness. And his firm belief was that good nutrition was fundamental to health. And so we can consider in many respects that Hippocrates is certainly as best, to the best of our knowledge, I guess, was really fundamental in, in driving through that idea of good nutrition. And his concept was, well, you used food first as your primary source of medicine. And it was only after that point that you considered other strategies. So it might be herbs, but any sort of medical intervention as being the final choice of healing. All right, let's take a look at some definitions related to nutrition. And, and first and perhaps most interestingly, food. And food is defined as any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth. Now, when you look at that definition and then you consider some of the foods on the supermarket shelves, it, it arguably we couldn't really call them food because they're not nutritious substances. And I guess that's a lot of what we're focusing on is in this lecture today is how do we select good healthy foods? What are good healthy foods? So on that note, it's important to understand the definition of whole foods. So they're foods that have not been processed or refined and are free of additives and other artificial substances. And you know, ideally, it's whole foods that should be comprising our diet. So what's the purpose of food? Now, you know, some people might say, well, it's to enjoy it. And yes, if you can enjoy what you're eating, that's wonderful. It can be, a, you know, being a social kind of aspect to life. We eat with others, that's also wonderful. But we do need to keep in mind that the true purpose of food is to feed and nourish cells and to maintain bodily functions. So our food is composed of a variety of nutrients. So we've got vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, we've got our macronutrients, our proteins, carbohydrates, fats, we've got fiber, phytochemicals, prebiotics, probiotics, enzymes, and water. And that's what we're gonna talk about in more detail. So let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.